This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Get with one of their experts and find out how to diversify your portfolio for your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, February 9th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. As most of you may have already heard, we've had a large X flare. That's right, we've had a large X flare. This happened right around 1300 UTC time. And, ladies and gentlemen, it's, I believe, the strongest flare of this solar cycle. Let's start off by reading the NOAA release on this, and we'll go on from there with more information. Major X-class solar flare. Today at 1314 UTC time, the Sun produced one of the most powerful solar flares in years, an X 3.4 class explosion from just behind the Sun's southwestern limb. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory, or SDO, recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash. The source of the solar flare appears to be departing sunspot AR3575. Because the blast site was eclipsed by the edge of the sun, the flare was probably even stronger than its X3.4 classification suggests. This was a big explosion. Hours after the flare's peak, Earth is still feeling the effects of the blast. Solar protons energized by the flare are following curved magnetic field lines from the sunspot back to our planet. The resulting hailstorm, called a radiation storm, is still intensifying at this time and has just reached a category S2. This plot shows what NOAA's GOES-18 satellite saw right after the blast. The color lines count the number of energetic protons streaming past the satellite en route to Earth. We can see by the red line we're in a proton or radiation storm. The green and blue lines are of special interest because they trace hard protons capable of upsetting spacecraft electronics, causing reboots of onboard computers and temporarily fogging cameras. The explosion also hurled a bright coronal mass ejection into space. It will not hit Earth. Instead, a NASA model of the CME shows it is headed for Mercury, Venus, and Mars. It will hit all three planets this weekend, and it's moving extremely fast. It will hit them probably today. This is the coronal mass ejection as seen on NASA's is with spiral. You can see it actually hitting, as they said, Mercury, also Venus, and Mars. And this is going to be a very rapid, rapidly moving coronal mass ejection. We can also see a direct hit on Osiris Rex. Not a good situation. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got lucky again. When you think we've gotten lucky again, maybe you should think twice. Again, we're in a radiation storm currently. But more than that, we're in a polar absorption event with radiation pouring in both the South and North Pole and lighting us up like Christmas trees. Headed over to the D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we can see that right about 3 UTC time, we got hit very hard with x-rays. And that lasted some time here, guys. That's over one hour. It's an hour. That's two hours right there. Three hours coming up. And then we enter a polar absorption situation okay this is a polar absorption event and it's been ongoing now for hours as you can see hours with no signs of letting up this is a radiation storm and it's frying everything on planet earth 
Look at the radial alternation associated with this. Anyone with uh, a ham radio or any mariners that might be trying to use their radio uh, near the Antarctic or Arctic circles will be without any transmission whatsoever. And you can see this is still ongoing to right now and it's just as strong if not stronger than it was quite some time ago. We got very lucky and we actually caught this on Cactus Core 1 over here on the right. You'll see it right at the end here. It's going to pop off right now. There it was. A huge explosion. We'll watch that once again. You'll see that the clock is Mark 13. Bang! And that does stop and, and start over. That plasma, or coronal mass ejection, continued from that point. We're just cut off right after the explosion, which happens right at the end of the tape right here. Wow. What a coronal mass ejection that was. All right. The explosion was caused by Sunspot AR3575, already around the limb. But the explosion was so large, our geomagnetic connection to the sun is still affecting Earth. So it does have an Earth component to it. At this point, it's a radiation storm S2, which is nothing to laugh about. And here's what it looks like. An X 3.38, 25% chance of X-ray flares. With that said, Sunspot AR3576 is still the most dangerous thing for Earth on the solar disk. So we'll keep an eye on it. It's directly Earth-facing currently. It is Delta Gamma and is ready to blow its top. We do have a 25% chance on going today of having another X-Flare. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.